No community should have a health care desert. Not now, not ever. All right, you just heard New York's uh, governor taking a firm stance on health care access today. That coming moments before she announced major funding to restore and improve access for thousands of Western New York neighbors. Good evening once again. We thank you for joining us on this Monday. The headline for the governor's visit to our region today, $74 million to build a new Brooks Hospital in Chautauqua County. This is something people there have been fighting for for a very long time. In fact, you may remember our story one year ago, putting a spotlight on their frustrated voices. People, Chautauqua County, we're forgotten people out here. You're having a heart attack, you're having your stroke, um, you get into a bad car accident, whether it's your mom, yourself, your dad, minutes matter. I don't want to go to Buffalo for my health care when I'm 15 minutes from the hospital. Now at the time, neighbors told us the current Brooks Hospital often had long wait times and a lack of sufficient medical technology. Many still upset over Lakeshore closing its doors back in early 2020. So could today's investment announcement for a new Brooks Hospital be the answer these voices are looking for? And that's what I went to Northern Chautauqua County to find out today, talking with a lot of people there. Seven News is a voice for everyone and tonight, I'm amplifying those who have pushed for this kind of investment for years now. You're going to hear from a Brooks Hospital nurse, a union advocate, plus the president of Brooks and the governor about the life-saving difference a new facility could make. I have been a nurse now for 14, 15, almost 15 years. I have been employed by Brooks Hospital for 23 years. Kenneth Long is a registered nurse. He works in the emergency department at Brooks Memorial Hospital in Dunkirk. While he loves his job, he says it comes with challenges. You know, we don't have sometimes the things that we need to do our jobs. We make do with what we have. But on this Monday, he is optimistic about the future of health care in northern Chautauqua County, where they just learned the state has committed millions to building a new facility. It's exciting to hopefully receive new technologies to make patient care better. Build this hospital. Build this hospital. Governor Kathy Hochul announcing Monday in Fredonia a partnership between Brooks Hospital and Kaleida Health and a $74 million investment from the state. Between 2010 and 2021, 136 rural hospitals shut their doors. Lakeshore Hospital, one of the more recent casualties. No community should have a health care desert. I'm told the new hospital will have updated medical equipment, more space, and a helipad. Because if you need to go elsewhere, you're going to get there quickly. You can go to Osai Children's Hospital if you need that kind of care. You can go to our hospitals in minutes with this helipad. This has been a long time coming. Ken Morris, president and CEO of Brooks Hospital, says the projected cost of the new facility is $74 million. How badly was this needed? Extremely needed. Our current facility obviously is, is old. The new location will have inpatient beds. We'll focus, we'll continue to focus on medical and surgical specialties. Cheryl Marino is with the union representing healthcare workers who have advocated for this new facility for years. This is really exciting news. This has been a long time coming, almost seven years and waiting for this funding. She and other health care providers are grateful that the community will finally have access to the health care they need right in their own backyard. Patients and families have had to go to other areas. Um, they've had to go to Pennsylvania, um, probably even farther. Kenneth says he is looking forward to having better equipment and a new facility to care for his patients. You need a lot of compassion for this job. I love everything about my job. I do love taking care of people. Well, the hospital is expected to be built, I'm told, within the next three years. I did ask about new jobs, and the president of the hospital told me that this is more about retaining jobs and investing in the future of health care in Chautauqua County.